on this. See, our perspective is not determined by what we see. It's determined by how we see it. It's not just what we see, it's how we see it. Perspective number one, there's two perspectives in life. And either we're part of one camp or another camp. The first perspective is this, there's no way. In Numbers 13, 31, the people that looked at the same land, the spies that looked at the same land, the same leaders at the same land, looked at the same land as Caleb looked at. Caleb believed, let's go conquer it at once, let's do it. We can do it. But these people had a no way mentality. Let's look at what they said. But when, but the other men who had explored the land with him disagreed. Who did they disagree with? They disagreed with God. They disagreed with the vision. They disagreed with the word. And this, they disagreed with Caleb. We can do this. They disagreed and they said this. We can't go up against them. They are stronger than we are. Now there's a problem with this. They saw themselves as weak. They said they can't. And they were saying it with an exclamation, with passion. We can't. See, if we believe this is a problem, there's no way. I don't know what challenges you're facing. But if you believe there is no way, you will never see a way. And what you're going to do is quit with the challenge that's in front of you. And the challenge that's in front of you, you are meant to overcome. God will never put you in a battle that he's not already set you up for victory. But you're supposed to fight. Fight the unbelief. Fight the no way mentality. It's a fight. There's no way. It's too hard. It's too difficult. There's no way. See, we'll never see a way. See, when we have a no way mentality, our minds will begin to highlight and magnify the obstacles, the problems, instead of the solutions and the possibilities. It shuts down all creativity and all vision. That's serious. There's always a way. You know, so they start highlighting. What are they highlighting? Problems. So are you going to be a person that highlights problems or highlights solutions? It's a mindset. And it's easy to have an I can't, no way mindset. It's easy. Because the majority of the people around you have a no way mindset. That's the majority of anything you ever try to do. No way. I don't see. If I were you, I would quit. I'd drop them. I'd leave. I'd, I'd throw in the towel. It's too hard. It's too difficult. That's the choir singing. Numbers 1332 says this. Look at them. They have this mindset of no way mentality. The land we traveled through and explored will devour anyone who goes to live there. Anyone. It's not true. All the people we saw were huge. That's not true. That's all they saw. All they saw was huge problems, huge people, huge obstacles, huge, uh, huge. Everything was huge and difficult and we can't. We even saw giants there. The descendants of Anak. And I wonder if Caleb saw giants. Maybe Caleb didn't even see the giants because he wasn't highlighting the giants. He was highlighting the promise and he was looking like this land is awesome. And he was looking at the houses and he was looking at the vineyards and he was looking at the fruit and he was looking at, and he saw all these little weak kids. He said we could conquer them. I believe he was looking at the same situation with a different lens. Next to them, we felt like grasshoppers. That's, that's the problem. When you have a no way mentality, you always feel like you're nothing compared to your challenge. This is what happens. You start seeing yourself as a victim. I am not a victim and you're not a victim. We are conquerors. We serve a king of kings and lord of lords. This is what God is saying. Stop putting yourself in a category that I delivered you from. And that's what they thought too. Yeah, right. No, that's what you think. And you see, this is the problem. When you have a wrong perspective about yourself, you think everybody thinks that way about you. As a matter of fact, you start putting thoughts in their head. They don't like me. Who said they don't like you? I could just feel it. How, well, you, so you just feel it? You, you feel their dislike on you? Yeah, did you see when I came in the room, they just stopped talking? No, the conversation was done when you came in. Had nothing to do with you walking. They didn't even know you were there. That's your issue that you're putting on people. So that's perspective number one. There is no way. We got to shut this conversation down. We got